Introducing the Canon new FD 28mm f2.8 wide-angle prime lens. Where camera companies would have us believe that the latest premium priced lens is an essential prerequisite for capturing the perfect image. The fundamental question we should really be asking is when is enough, enough? Can a vintage lens from 1979, purchased at auction in 2023 for $21, suffice the needs of the modern photographer? Recalibrate one's priorities, give heed to actual needs as distinct from wants and desires, and the answer is a most assuredly yes. Subject to qualification and with deference to specific needs, the new FD28 2.8 is a lens that could arguably lay claim to being among the best interchangeable lens options available for urban documentary and street photography in 2023. Manufactured by Canon Kabushiki Geisha, the new FD 28mm f2.8 was launched in June 1979. Superseding the 1975 28 2.8 SC lens, and of identical optical configuration, the new FD variant was constructed with seven non-bonded air-spaced elements in seven groups, with five diaphragm blades. The lens layout is of a reverse telephoto type, encompassing retrofocus design elements. Designated a wide-angle lens for full-frame application, the aperture range falls from 2.8 through f22. At minimum focus extension, the lens measures 40 mm from the mount, increasing to 44 mm at the close focus setting. The lens diameter is 63 mm, the lens weight is 170 grams, and the filter size is 52 mm. The minimum focus distance is 30 cm, the diagonal angle of view is 75.4 degrees, and the maximum reproduction ratio is 1 to 7.7. .7. Incorporating an interlocking lever mechanism, FD lenses support both full aperture metering and automatic exposure functionality for Canon FD mount cameras with aperture and shutter priority specification. For mirrorless and DSLR adapted applications, the auto aperture and auto exposure function serve no purpose. Application of Canon's proprietary multi-layer super spectra coating differentiates the new FD from first generation single lens coatings, branded SC. Canon claimed that the multi-layer coating eliminates ghosting and flare caused by lens surface reflections, creating a durable hard lens surface with stable characteristics. Assigned order code BW52B, the optional plastic bayonet type petal shaped lens hood, is specific to the 28mm f2 and f2.8 lens variants. The lens hood measures 71 by 34mm and weighs 16 grams. Total lens production numbers are unknown. Extrapolated estimates indicate an output in excess of 1 million units. Superseded in 1987 upon release of the EF 28mm f2.8, production of the new FD 28 2.8 continued through 1992, ending with the discontinuation of T60 and new F1 SLR product lines. The FD lens mount is specific to the Canon FD system, introduced by Canon in March 1971, upon release of the Canon F1, a 35mm SLR camera. Of original breech lock configuration, early lenses are identified by incorporation of a silver locking ring at the lens base. The mounting mechanism was updated to bayonet type, upon release of the new FD series in 1979. The FD flange focal distance is 42 mm. Canon FD mount lens adapters are available for Canon EF, Nikon, Sony, Leica, and Fujifilm cameras. Where the adapted flange focal distance exceeds 42 mm, infinity focus is not possible without the inclusion of a lens correcting element within the adapter. For Nikon F, Canon EF, Leica S, and Olympus OM camera mounts, Incorporation of a meniscus lens within the adapter is required to enable full focusing functionality. However, as adapted, the lens angle of view correlates to a 39mm equivalent focal length, the effective aperture value is reduced by one stop, and image quality is said to be significantly compromised. 
This is a fully manually controlled lens when adapted to modern mirrorless and DSLR cameras. There are no electrical contact points between the lens and camera body. EXIF data is not transferable. Of note, an approximate determination for FD lens production dates can be made by referencing the inspection date code stamp on the rear lens plate. In June 1979, the new FD28 2.8 published list price in Japan was 35,000 yen. In the United States, Canon's recommended retail list price was a somewhat ambitious 205 US dollars. Advertised as having a modest price and being an economical lens for all types of photography and photographer, actual retail street pricing would stabilize to around 100 US dollars falling in line with competitor offerings of the time. Adjusted for inflation, the price equivalent in 2023 is 336 US dollars. In 2023, availability of new FD 28mm lenses on eBay and Japanese auction sites is abundant. Transacted sales prices range from 5 to 135 US dollars. Asking prices from dedicated eBay retail stores extend upward to 385 US dollars. Purchased independently, pricing for Canon's BW52B plastic lens hood ranges from 5 to 29 US dollars. The Canon new FD28 2.8 lens build quality is unremarkable. It was a lens designed and manufactured to meet the specific criteria for small size, lightweight and affordability. The lens body is of durable polycarbonate construction, affixed to a metal lens mount. The aperture ring, focus ring, and internal structural components are made from plastic. The focus ring rotates smoothly through an approximate 135 degrees. The short focus throw and inherent hyperfocal characteristics facilitates precise and accurate focusing. The aperture ring rotates somewhat rigidly, in half-stop increments with firm and discernible click stops. There is no de-click function for video application, and weather sealing is absent. Canon FD lens mechanisms are known to be complex, and serviceability can be difficult. FD lenses are prone to haze and fogging, aperture blades can become sticky, and aperture ring bearings have a tendency to seize from lack of use and degradation of plastic coatings. As a side note, where the absence of autofocus functionality would otherwise be seen to be a deficiency in specification, there is an argument to be made that manual focusing is in actuality advantageous for street photography application. Reliance on one's camera to determine critical focus and a scene's principal point of interest is to subjugate the creative process to a computational algorithm. Providing an elevated sense of tactile engagement, manual focusing eliminates the possibility of focus hunting in low light and high contrast situations, prevents unintended object selection, and can produce more consistent results. And specific to the 28mm focal length, the hyperfocal characteristics for mid-range aperture settings effectively renders autofocus functionality redundant. As illustrated, with aperture set to f8 and focus set to 3.29 meters, objects beyond 1.65 meters will render acceptably sharp. Canon marketing literature states, wide-angle lenses are suitable for a wide range of purposes. Their deep depth of field is convenient for snapshots and press photography, as well as for shooting in confined places. Specific to street photography application, the 28mm focal length allows one to get up close and personal, providing an environmental context whilst keeping the subject matter in frame. Excelling in versatility, 28mm lenses are also suited for wide establishing shots, close-ups, landscapes, documentary, large group portraiture, and can be used artistically to add a sense of surrealism to scene composition. Among the most popular of Canon's wide-angle lens offerings of the time, the FD28 2.8 was developed with an emphasis on ease of use and high performance, 
accentuating resolution, contrast and color balance. When adapted to Sony's 60.2 megapixel A7 or 4 full-frame digital camera, the new FD28 lens image resolving performance is underwhelming, for aperture settings falling between f2.8 and f4. At f2.8, center and corner image rendering is soft, detail is obscure, and contrast is notably reduced. For aperture settings of f4 and above, center sharpness and contrast are significantly improved, although corner sharpness remains compromised through f8. Aperture settings falling between 5.6 and f16, provide the best compromise for image resolution, with any perceptible variation in sharpness corrected with minor Lightroom adjustments. Optimal image sharpness is achieved at f11. The Canon new FD28 2.8 lens exhibits minor complex distortion on the horizontal plane. Barrel distortion is reduced with application of three points manual corrective adjustment in Lightroom. As corrected, vertical lines render mostly true, although pincushion induced waviness remains apparent on the periphery horizontal axis. Romanticized notions of a specific lens or brand's unique color rendering are mostly dispelled when lighting variables are eliminated and capture settings aligned. Under controlled lighting conditions, with white balance and ISO settings matched, the new FD 28mm f2.8 lens color rendition is accurate, neutral, and consistent across all aperture settings. When referenced against modern counterparts, color rendition is linear and perceptually indistinguishable. Most modern lenses should not exhibit any discernible color cast. Any perceived visible difference in color rendering is likely attributable to changed lighting conditions, variations in film stock, or a digital image processor's interpolation of white balance relative to aperture, shutter speed, and ISO settings. Optical vignetting occurs naturally in all lenses. Illumination falloff is unavoidable as light rays at the periphery of the lens travel longer than those in the center. The new FD28 2.8 exhibits comparatively minor vignetting at the widest 2.8 aperture setting, requiring up to one stop corrective exposure adjustment at the periphery. At f4, the effect is significantly reduced and effectively eliminated for aperture settings of f5.6 and above. For aperture settings of f4 and above, lens light dispersion is impressively controlled. Longitudinal chromatic aberration and lateral transverse chromatic aberration is perceptually absent. Minor magenta color fringing is visible under magnification at the 2.8 aperture setting. The effect can be eliminated fully in post-processing. Positive chromatic aberration for light sources positioned at the corner of the frame is visible across all aperture settings. At f8 and above, aberrations are partially masked by optical diffraction. The transition from in-focus composition to out-of-focus elements at the wide aperture setting is linear and progressive. However, the 2.8 maximum aperture and encompassing 75-degree angle of view serves to limit the extent of background blur possible beyond the minimum focus distance. Hyperfocal characteristics specific to the 28mm focal length and the somewhat slow 2.8 maximum aperture limits bokeh rendering capabilities beyond the close focus setting. At the 2.8 aperture setting, specular highlights render circles uniformly in the center of the frame with minimal distortion. Elliptical cat's eye bokeh becomes apparent toward the edges of the frame. With aperture stop down, pentagonal edging of the highlights becomes apparent. Spherical aberrations are impressively controlled, evident from linear light gathering across the circle radius. Flaring occurs when direct or stray light reflects off internal lens elements, aperture blades or the camera sensor. Flaring can lead to glowing artifacts, patches of haze and low image contrast. It can also be used intentionally for artistic and creative effect. The Canon new FD28 2.8 lens exhibits moderate flaring across all aperture settings. Ghosting and reflections are pronounced. 
Veiling for light sources outside the lens field of view is controlled. And sensor flare is apparent. When referenced against period competitor and modern lens alternatives, the Canon UFD 28 2.8 image rendering performance arguably falls short. It is neither the sharpest, the brightest, or the best optically corrected lens of its type. It is merely adequate. However, to dwell on such technicalities, devalues the significance of the photographer, unnecessarily prioritizes the relevance of camera equipment, and has potential to inhibit creativity. Preoccupation with MTF charts and lens reviews, negate the fundamental essence of what makes a great photo. And notably, an image captured with an expensive lens that is not engaging, is arguably an image not worth taking. Specific to urban documentary and street photography applications, Canon's new FD28 2.8 excels in virtue. Its small size, lightweight, and inconspicuous appearance are advantageous to discrete and unobtrusive image taking. At mid-range aperture settings, rendering is sharp, distortion is controlled, and vignetting and aberrations are perceptibly absent. But above all else, the new FD28 2.8's most compelling attribute is cost. Advantageously, a lens that can be purchased so cheaply provides one the opportunity to disengage from preoccupation with camera equipment and liberates funds for travel, education, and more inspirational pursuits. And in application, an indifference to inhospitable conditions, unfavorable weather, and questionable environments becomes possible for a lens that is otherwise economically disposable. Knowing that memorable images can be captured with an inexpensive lens brings a renewed element of fun and a sense of validation and accomplishment to one's photography. Set aside the allure of abject consumerism, focus instead on the photographic process and compositional possibilities, and the opportunities to capture better images are exponentially increased.